Good morning, you guys. Today we're at the port of LA waiting for a friend and we're definitely gonna hear him from blocks away. So this is my friend Swan. What's up? So you got a beautiful Chevelle, and uh, do you want to just go into it a little bit? The car's name is Malabeast. It's just a play on the word Malibu because that's what it is, the Chevelle Malibu. The beginning of its story was when I was around 11 years old. I took over my older brother's paper route rather than having him cancel it, so I had a little job and collected tips, and on the route one day, I happened to see this car under a tarp, and I had about $300 saved, and my dad was a pretty good negotiator and sales guy and loved classic cars, so ended up getting the car for 300 bucks. Now it's 22 years later and I have 10,000 miles on this build. That's where this thing started though. So what are your favorite like features about the car? I think my favorite feature now is my supercharger. Well, let's see, I pop the hood. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Man, that is a clean engine bay. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. It's the second motor, but the third attempt to get it running. And I actually was trying to get it ready for my wedding and I wanted to kind of put a motor in for the freaking last time. So <laughs> I took it to LS Swaps. That's on Instagram, LS Swaps, his name is George. He's super talented really meticulous when it comes to building and he built this motor basically a junkyard 6.0 block and everything that internally is forged we're running a boost cam the heads are poured and polished it's just a really solid build and solid block and then it's just kind of the supercharger packed on top that's awesome so how much horsepower do you think it has so i did the install myself because like the boost district kit comes with like everything so you could literally diy it and it's really clean the problem is is just not really thinking or Falling things as correctly as I should. I routed my heat exchanger backwards a little, so I get a little bit hotter than I need to be, which affects the tune. So on pretty low boost and you know some adjustments needed, it put out close to 600 wheel horsepower, is 585 or so. Not really being able to push it really hard, and then torque came back as 640 torque. That's crazy. The supercharger is really sweet because it's like the power really is instant. Like when they tell you like, oh yeah, turbo lag, boost lag, all this stuff, but you put a supercharger on belt driven and it's like you touch the pedal and it's like ready to go. <laughs> So what transmission do you have right now? It's an LT, I think, type T56, but it was rebuilt with like Corvette servos and like all the LS, you know, shaft and everything like that. How would you define this car? Is it like a pro touring build or like what? I would say resto mod just because like it still has some hot rod character. Like I still have the back raked up a little bit higher than the front so that it has like the classic look. And then, you know, obviously I kept a lot of the chrome trim and like fender markers and stuff that people would say like, dude, you should delete it. But for me being a classic lover, since I was a kid there's like certain features of a classic car that you just can't really mess with or at least in my mind so I've modified it tastefully I'd say enough to still be the classic car I wanted but also be able to do all the fun like cool stuff that you know keeping up with those factory 600 horsepower cars yeah it's cool like you respect yeah. history but then yeah, you're gonna yeah, add on yeah, to the modern yeah. stuff so you recently redid the interior right yeah so you know I'm not some big budget guy that's why I built it myself and it took 22 years with the help of friends and good advice and stuff like that. But the interior and everything, for me, it was like, I'm just gonna start off factory. And I would say that everything inside of it, you know, looks mostly factory besides like the billet specialty steering wheel, did a coated gauges, which stand out. But otherwise, that's kind of the look I wanted. And then tell me a little bit about the paint. So this is the factory, like 2012 Camaro Corvette, ashen gray metallic. So it's like a sport car GM color. But the difference is that I had my body guy go through and do a black primer undercoat. So it basically in my mind, it, the goal was to get it to come out a little bit darker in the shade when the light's not on it. So a lot of people actually think it's black in most of the posts and photos because you don't ever get to see the light on it. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's very hard and not often that you get to see the real like greenish metallic color that comes out of it. Good morning. Uh, you guys can't be back here. This whole area is uh, government property. Okay. Oh, like, yeah, oh, okay. There's a huge sign right here that says no profit, no trespassing. Oh, Where we must have just uh, missed it from oh, behind. Oh, this right here, actually? No, oh. all the way back there, too. Okay. Oh, okay. 25 signs all the okay. way down. Okay, we'll, yeah, we'll so get out. We'll take a couple of shots. Oh, we're, yeah, we're just doing like I a... Do like five minutes, I'll go down that way. That's perfect. Yeah, we're doing like a video interview, and then we'll drive out of here. No problem. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank appreciate you. It. All right. So we just got kicked out by the police. They were very nice, so we're going to change locations, but we'll see you guys there. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we just switched locations. It's very quiet, but you never know. There's, someone might come out of nowhere and kick us out, but <laughs> let's see what we can do. Hopefully the cop won't disrupt your beautiful performance today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess just get back into the wheel setup. These are the Billet Specialty street lights. I love them. The chrome and the step lift get a lot of compliments and it pops really well with all the chrome. And then I heard your car start up. It sounds pretty mean. So what's going on with the whole exhaust setup? It's Doug's headers, long tubes, and then it kind of comes into the three inch exhaust and there's an X pipe and then the mufflers, they dump an mandrel bin right before the rear end, which is something I wanted because when the mufflers are under the seats and they dump right there is where you get like a lot of that vibration and I feel like the throatiness and like the deep tones that kind of set off alarms and that's kind of like a, something that I looked forward to as a kid <laughs> all the time like I want to set off all the alarms. So I, I love it and the mufflers themselves are amazing Black Widow race venoms so a lot of people ask about it but they're I mean literally when you look into that it's like straight through so it's like <laughs> of course far. it's loud. But I think what's really cool is the whole like sentimental value to this car. Can you tell me a little bit about, you know, your dad? So my dad was a huge car guy, had so many cars, did so much dumb stuff growing up, just like, you know, partying, having fun and building hot rods. And he got me really into the, our whole family, honestly, into the Chevys. When we were born, he only had a 64 Chevelle. That was the car that I could like still smell sometimes at car shows when I smell it again, like the air freshener. I could like still remember like laying on the back seat and like hearing it and riding this school and always want to go on it but he had this photo of it when it was yellow next to his white 69 Malibu so he literally had a 69 and a 64 kind of parked together. He sold those early on and never really had a classic again except for the one we built for my brother and a couple more along the way but not necessarily to keep and this one was such a long time build that all I wanted to do was get a second Chevelle for him to drive along with me in and I wanted to replicate that photo so shortly after moving to SoCal I bought a yellow 64 Chevelle. I don't know how it happened it just happened and it was perfect and it's pretty amazing to have both cars it's gonna be impossible to ever let them go but unfortunately he did pass away right before I was able to get it like on the road and everything it's just taking some time so I'm still gonna finish it and let the family drive it around so we'll still get the fun out of it well it's crazy the car's been with you so long and I bet it feels so good it looks beautiful and you drive it all the time right yeah I, I try to drive it as much as I can for me like that's why I built it it took that long to build it and enjoy it like even a painted car with scratches is better than no car or no running yeah. car at all. So I'm like, probably by the time it needs to be redone again, hopefully I'm making good money and I won't have to worry about it. Well, I'd love to get a ride in it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're in the Chevelle and it sounds amazing. I'm laughing right now because these seats are so much more comfortable than the ones in my Mustang. It's like, they do have some spring though, right? So yeah, it's like- Yeah, they're spring. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a low rider like bouncing around. Yeah, got a little bit of a bounce. All right, he's gonna do a little bit of a pull. <laughs> Charged like 600 horsepower Camaro like a couple weeks ago. This oh, is really? nuts. Well, it's probably blowing the tires off of that thing. Yeah, dude, this thing's fast. Do you want makes me like smile so hard it's <laughs> from the outside it is so loud yeah, with the supercharger <laughs> what does it feel like like leaning into oh, it oh geez dude leaning into it well first of all i can't really get all in it which is why it just spins but leaning into it i mean i'm ready for it so i don't feel it as much but i like can tell i'm leaning back and every now and then i'll catch myself off guard and like stab at it and it'll be really reactive and i like i actually scare myself sometimes I'm like oh that one like came in really hot but it's it, if it grabs it's like pretty 
fucking gnarly. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but as far as the like passenger goes, like I could see because they're not ready. I could see them just like, <laughs> like you know. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for doing this, man. Appreciate it. No problem, dude. I actually appreciate you reaching out, dude. I've been seeing your stuff for a long time and I love what you do, so. Well, thank you so much. So you do a little automotive page on Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, for fun, build a f build cars like my own mostly. Um, you can follow me on uh, All For Speed. Awesome, man. Yeah. So go follow this guy. <laughs> He's a cool dude. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to let you guys know that I just came out with some new four speed merch. If you want to support me, I'll link it down below and check it out. And please subscribe for more content.